How's it going? Welcome to week two of Bucks Weekly. The Bucks are coming off of a 35 to 21 win over the St. Henry Redskins. It really was an all-around team effort win by the Bucks, but it was definitely keyed by their new starting quarterback, right, Andy? Yeah, absolutely. You could tell that St. Henry really game plan for AJ to run the ball a lot, but they really didn't have an answer for Jared. And Jared came in in his first game, just did an outstanding job leading the team, getting them down the field, and helped them get to that win. So we grabbed Coach Eric for his yearly Week 2 segment, and he talked about what the Bucks have done so far and where they're headed from here. Hey Coach, how would you grade your team's overall performance against St. Henry? Well, it was a good matchup against a good MAC opponent. Uh, we went out and we got the win, so definitely grade them well for that. Uh, we didn't play as well as we could have. Uh, I feel like we uh, had the opportunity to, to really end the game early. Uh, we had a couple mistakes that cost us, allowed them to get back in the game. Uh, they, they were in there. They, uh, we were up 14 nothing. had a chance to, to pretty well into the game early in the second quarter. We allowed them to go down and score, a seven-point game. Um, great response at the end of the first half, getting that score right before half, I felt, was really huge, both for our confidence and just to uh, give notice that uh, whatever it takes, we can go down and score quickly or we can go down and, quit and uh, score methodically. Um, second half, it was a, a good battle between uh, both, both sides. Um, obviously, cramping and fatigue started to become an issue, um, something we're going to have to look at going forward. Uh, maybe we need to condition a little bit more. Uh, obviously, when it's hot, we're going to have to prepare Thursday night better for a Friday game. So, Okay. Um... What does last week's win mean to the team going forward? Well, it means we're one and up. Uh, we, we've accomplished goal number one, which was win the first game. So all that means is we have another opponent to go face this week. So we start out the CCC, um, had a lot of wins by the league. So it's kind of given us a, a good indication the league might be back up a little bit, which is, is just great. Uh, Arcanum really kind of took it to their opponent in week one, scored a lot of points, uh, much improved our Canon team. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not the hodgepodge that we've seen in the past, the different offenses kind of thrown together. They, they really kind of stuck to an offense and they run it really well. Um, defensively, I, you know, I, I like our offensive line against their defensive line, but uh, their offense is uh, something that could hurt us if we're not disciplined. Okay, and that's kind of going to the next thing. What are we going to see from our team this Friday? Um, well, their offense is going to look very familiar to us. They run a very similar style offense. It's a, they run a lot of the midline option. Uh, so we have to play our, our assignments and be disciplined on defense. Um, their offensive linemen come off the ball pretty well. Uh, it'll be a great battle when our defense is on the field. It'll be a great test for us to see if we can play some smash mouth football against a team that, that's definitely much better and much improved. 
Okay. All right. What do you want to see out of the team in the first CCC game of the year? Well, we want to go out, obviously, just like every week and compete. Uh, go out, dominate the line of scrimmage. Um, for the most part, if we dominate the line of scrimmage, we have some phenomenal backs that, that will take care of the rest. So, um, as we kind of said earlier, the league uh, appears to be much more balanced, a lot, uh, lot better than it's been in a couple of years past. So, it, it's time for us to set notice to the rest of the CCC that this is, this is uh, our championship for the last three years, and we're here to stake claim that it's going to be ours again. So, that happens come Friday night. It starts out, and there's uh, several other teams. Uh, North, uh, North looks really good. Miami East looks really good. South had a good quality win. So there's some, some teams out there that are uh, going to come after us with everything they got. So it's important for us to go out against every opponent we see and do the absolute best we can. You know, regardless of what we see, we got to go out and not beat ourselves and dominate on both sides of the football. Okay. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. So a quick note about our stats man, Marty Listener, before we go here. He scheduled a college statistics class during our usual Bucks weekly taping time, and that's why you don't see him. But we did call him, and he said that the odds are in the Bucks' favor to pick up a win this weekend. If that's how stats work. We don't really know. Well, that will just about wrap it up for week two of Bucks weekly. This Friday night, the Bucks travel to Arcanum to take on the Trojans. Broadcast time 7.15, kickoff is at 7.30. Check the Facebook page for updates during the game, and go to GoBucks.com for all the latest information. So that'll wrap it up for Andy and Kyle and Marty somewhere in class. We'll see you later. Go Bucks.